Hello explorers, here's a difficult question. Would you rather wear a clown wig or a clown nose for the rest of your life? Hmm, but no matter what I choose, I would still look silly. In today's Bible story, Jesus was also asked a difficult question by those who wanted to make him choose something silly. Let us see how he answers them by turning to Mark chapter 12, verses 13 to 17 of your Bibles and pausing this video to read it right here. So back when this happened, the Pharisees and the Herodians were the powerful and smart people. But some of the Pharisees and Herodians did not like Jesus. And we see in verse 12 that they wanted to force Jesus into saying silly things to arrest him. So they asked Jesus about paying the imperial tax to Caesar. We know that in those days, the Jews were ruled by the Romans. The Roman king was Tiberius Caesar. As king over the lands of Israel and Judea, he ordered that the Jews must pay him. And this was the imperial tax. The Jews did not like this tax. The Romans were like bullies. Everyone was afraid of them. And the tax was like the bullies forcing you to give them your lunch. You'd be pretty upset about it too. Every time the Jews paid their tax, they remembered that they were not free. Therefore, the question asked by the Pharisees and Herodians forced Jesus to pick a side. If he said, pay the tax, and the Jews would hate him. If he said, do not pay the tax, and the Romans might arrest him. What could he say? But if the Pharisees and Herodians thought they were smart for their question, Jesus shows that he knew better. He was not going to pick a side. He asks for a denarius, which is a coin that people used as money in those days. Now we know that the coin probably looked like this. So Jesus asks the Pharisees and Herodians, whose image is on this coin? And whose inscription? And so they reply, Caesar's. Then Jesus said, Give back to Caesar what is Caesar's, and to God what is God's. The Bible tells us that they were amazed at Jesus, because his answer was really clever. Not only had Jesus avoided their trap, he showed that he refused to pick a side because he belonged to God. First, give back to Caesar what is Caesar's could mean pay the tax since the coins belong to Caesar. So the Pharisees and Herodians could no longer tell the Romans that Jesus was encouraging people to disobey. Second, it could also mean send this filthy stuff back where it came from. It is like a protest slogan used by the Jews 200 years before Jesus. Therefore, the Pharisees and Herodians also could not tell the Jews that Jesus was encouraging people to pay the tax. Finally, and most importantly, Jesus used the idea of image to explain his answer. The Pharisees and Herodians knew that humans were created in God's image. If the coin belonged to Caesar because it had his image, this would also mean that humans belong to God because humans have God's image. This meant that everything we have and do, whether that is a small coin or our entire lives, belong entirely to God. The Pharisees and Herodians wanted Jesus to pick a side between the Jews and the Romans. Jesus answers neither. 
He was not there to pick sides between Jew and Gentile. He was there for so much more. Sometimes when we are faced with difficulty, we also make choices as if everything does not already belong to God. When we lie, we think truth belongs to us. When we do not forgive, we think that vengeance belongs to us. But following Jesus means that we can live differently because everything we need and more was given to us through the cross. We do not need to think these things belong to us anymore. We get to sing joyfully that it all belongs to Jesus, our King. Through Jesus, God has already made a way for us and for the whole world that we may live recognizing everything, including ourselves, as belonging to him. So let us pray. Starting positions. One, two, three. Dear Lord, thank you that you are restoring the world to you. Though sometimes we do things against you, you always forgive and restore us to you. Help us that we may live more like you, being generous with our effort and our forgiveness, because everything belongs to you. And of all the things we need, you have not withheld anything. Amen.